Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit do something. Oh my god, can I speak? Today we're going to be doing something a little different and we are going to be starting something at the end of this spooktober thing that I'm doing on my channel. So I'm going to be watching The Haunting of Bly Manor. I think that's how you say it. For the first time ever, I've been wanting to watch this show for a really long time. I've been told that I didn't have to watch the uh, first season to get this season. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and I just thought that if I wanted to watch the series so bad and it is a horror movie kind of a horror show then why not um, start it on this channel if you guys do like um, this content then I'll continue to post my reactions to the series um, so if you guys want to stick around for that please subscribe and leave a like and a comment I do movie commentaries on this channel as well and also um, reaction videos to the people that I love and stand and stuff like that so if you want to join the squad or the bam so i haven't used the word squad since seventh grade i don't know why it's reappearing in my vocabulary but um if you want to join that'd be really fun i'm doing a lot of cool things on my channel so it'd be nice if you guys stuck around without further ado let's get on into this reaction also, before we do that, I do want to say that I have ordered new lights, so night videos are coming, um, just so that I'll be able to film um, reaction videos also at night and also make movie commentaries and show commentaries sometimes um, at night without this noise in the background. It's really distracting and annoying, I know, but please bear with me. I'm working on it, um, but yeah. <laughs> If I'm being honest, I'm really excited to start this show. Um, for those of you who are already subscribed to my channel, I'm like in love with horror movies. Oh, she, I know her. She's like a, a famous lady. Don't know her name though. I think I'm about to get canceled because I don't know her, but her name, but I know her. She's famous. She's a good actress. Okay, so she's stepping out in style. We love to see it. And we're in Northern California, 2007. Blaine. No, heavens no, not the wedding. The practice meal. The rehearsal dinner, for God's sake. <laughs> As a slightly drunk, completely jet-lagged Englishman really to awful. well and truly yeah. speak my mind. <laughs> because I want to walk. They're never you funny. young people have Tell absolutely no idea what you've ever been to a wedding that the wedding jokes before. have actually been funny. Or at least, like, you've chuckled. I've never chuckled. Is to accept that the work of loving them is worth the pain okay, so of losing them. Okay, so she's giving me very that's it. complicated past, that's all. very um, and if traumatic that scares eyes. you, oh, well, you still can. You're young, you're strong. The no, world. I'm serious. We actually refuse to stay okay, here. Okay, that was interesting. I never really see crossfades anymore in, like, film the or... Oh, my God. It's so loud outside. I'm so sorry. I'm saying that I... I'm saying that I never see really crossfades anymore in film and TV, which is really interesting that they use that here. I also love this aesthetic of like old white people, old rich white people. Okay, I love that horror story, aesthetic, like the um, knives like out and ready or not it's aesthetic, love that. It's very like, like it makes story. things scarier and more mysterious. So is this going to be like her oh, okay. telling the story the Good entire story. Uh, season? Like she's just telling a story? Again, that's cool. Story. Okay, so that's her, I'm guessing. London. Oh, is she? she's the girl from You. I still have not finished that uh, second season. But I know she plays Lily. What the hell is that? Yes, it is. That racket no focus is telling me that that ring is no important, path. I'm guessing. Bonded to the the children are wonderful. Exceptional, really. My niece and my nephew. Exceptional. I already don't children, like him. As I, said. I don't like but challenging people both. like that. Like Miles, snobby people nephew, that just like talk over you. With their parents before they passed. Oh, so place. their parents died. That's there are a few sad. others on the ground. Makes a woman of your age want to give up her life to take care of someone else's children. I don't know, life. but you're a man in a woman's business. Keep that over there. So, I think we should toast to it, Mr. Wingrave. 
This is so weird and awkward. She's bald balls. Well, I, I suppose she died. It was her own fault. You suppose? To be blunt, her choice to be blunt. Um. But she died on the ground, so people are super. That's interesting. Not trying to be like insensitive or anything, but she died on the ground so specifically. So I'm wondering if that has is gonna have anything to do with like the haunting. A huge house with a dead Probably will. That must be so hard on the kids. The job. At least um, the age. It's just like now, going through that and no like probably even witnessing that is like terrifying. Imagination. Could make a difference, a real difference. She's just very adamant two. on making a difference in kids' lives. So I wonder what happened that was like so bad that caused her to move all the way to London. I'm gonna be in England a while longer. <laughs> quite a while, she literally actually. looks a mess, but like the type of mess I am. Like she literally looks like a wreck. What the hell is that? Okay, so that's definitely what she's running from, but I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, that is beautiful. Looks like a crane shot, but been too Sorry bad, about that. Been a drunk, the country it's hurts. Beautiful, regardless. Well, hostels aren't terribly restful. I, let me just say that I get chills from the word hostel because of the movie Hostel. The, both movies, Hostel One and Hostel Two, Part Two. Never. <laughs> that shit is the most gory. Well, actually, one of the most gory movies I've ever seen. This is gorgeous. When I love like the sounds, I love the sounds of being outside in nature. Of course, I don't know anything about nature though. <laughs> I just like the sound of it. I'm, I'm a city girl. Period. I've said that before. I need to stop saying that. When you're so pretty, I told Mars you'd be pretty. Perfectly splendid. You must be poor. Oh, she's I hope so I didn't cute. You. Not much else. So what much better. Is that? And why is she playing with it? And this must be Mrs. Gross. Hi. Oh, sorry. Um, goodness, I, I was miles away. I'm Danny. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Hannah Gross. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I see you. She seems it's a little nice. off. These wide shots they're using are amazing. Also, this kind of reminds me. This shot right here reminds me of uh, Sabrina. So, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, the show, the, her house. Perfectly splendid. It's perfectly splendid. He's splendid. Mm -hmm. I love that word. <laughs> Everything seems pretty normal so far. I'm wondering when things are gonna start like getting spooky. Perfectly splendid. This is the classroom. It's splendid. Quite boring. These lovely. Okay. Parents. So I'm noticing she repeats stuff a lot. Is that does that have some? I'm afraid these things close at the moment. And covered oh, okay, up. her parents. But underneath it all. But I wonder if that has anything to do with her trauma or her character in any way because I noticed like her repetition is like very prominent. Like she repeats the same phrases and words a lot. Oh, she's excited. Um, little boy. To give you this you can leave now you. that was very odd he acts like a a man in a little boy's body like the little girl acts very mature for her age but it's like a little girl like thinking she's 20 and it's like cute you know like and she's not like he's like it's acting cute. like a whole 30 year old man dinner like look at his mannerisms he likes to wind me up she likes being wound up joining us is there some set tension I'm sensing? I'll have it later. Okay. Okay. Mm, she ain't even drink the rest of the tissue reader. Yes, you're very silly girl. Oh, her face just dropped. Oh my god. Where did you get that? It doesn't belong to you. Oh my god. Oh I'm my so god. sorry. Why would he give that to her? Well, is Miss Jessel fine. there? Can I get Probably. Out? No, sir. What is that? 
she's bringing her baggage somewhere that's already haunted. <laughs> you know, Mrs. Gross seems to think you should call me Miss Clayton. Don't you like it? I'm sorry. This shot Laura is very interesting. Is a little upset. And is that the uh, a replica of the manor or the mansion? This is kind of like a House of Anubis. Is that me? <laughs> Does anybody remember that show where like the replica, like the dollhouse replica? Oh. Put her back. She stays there. Oh my God. She must. Please listen to her. Okay. Okay, so she's smart, but I wonder if she's actually gonna listen. And she's stupid, but I mean, what's a scary movie without somebody who doesn't follow the rules, am I right? Fuck. <laughs> what the hell? Um. Um. What lady? The lady in the lake. Flora. He looked like he was like warning her to shut up. Who the hell is that? Why are people just showing up and staring? They just show up and stare. What's for lunch? Bangers and mash. Bangers and mash. New people just be showing up. The gardener did not even introduce herself to the new old pair. The guy on the parapet on my way in. See, they already know, I feel like. Yeah. I feel like they already know, and they're just gonna be like, oh no, there was no one there. Well, you're not gonna eat anything? Oh no, I already ate. Just here for the company. So there's something up with her and eating. Is she going where they said we don't go? Of course she would. Why wouldn't she? Girl, I would not be going in there. Like the sheets, the white sheets over everything make everything look 10 times scarier. And that's like a fact. Just look at the scary episode of Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. So it must have been the ghost of one of the parents, since that's, uh, their room. She is very strange to me. Something's up with her. She's always, no. like, away no. in her head. I didn't. She was a bright young thing. She's ambitious and intelligent. Young thing. So there was... A woman. I already knew there was already a woman that like had her job before, but the uncle made it seem like only they've only had like older nannies, like of older age, because he's like, "What's the catch? You're so young. Um, why would you want this job?" And then she's talking about how Miss Jessel was like young, so I'm confused. This is interesting. The man, which really is the only thing that can bring down a woman like that. Of course it was a man. What else would it be? Oh, she died in the lake. Flora found her. And Jamie oh found no. Flora. What are the candles for? The dead. There's four. I had them. been. So far we only know that the parents died, so that's two, and then Miss Jessel. So what's the fourth one for? And that's the only one standing tall and not flickering. So is that like a reference to Danny? Time for bed. Is it? You shouldn't think so. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> she specifically told you to call her Clayton. My name's really. Stop being weird, Miles. Yeah, <laughs> your sister knows. Stop being weird. Perfectly splendid. She's the cutest. Oh my gosh, I love her. You pick these up. I would hate to break. I'm so scared of her face. Maybe you should put that down. Where would you like her tonight? An electric fan in Flora's cupboard. I cannot sleep without it, I'm afraid. That That's why my cupboard. I didn't use the first oh. night. Oh, sure thing. Interesting. I say interesting a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> Was that person in there? Hmm. The woman with the hood? I don't see it. it must be under some clothes. Please don't tell me they're gonna lock her in there. What the hell? Are they just trying to keep yeah. her safe from going outside at it's night, or? Game. That must be, because there's it. no reason for them to do that. It's not funny. Open the door. Does she have a fear of being in tight spaces or like closed spaces? The key is in the lock, Flora. Open the door. Can they stop? What the hell? Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Oh no. Yeah, no. she's definitely traumatized from something Open about being in tight spaces. Oh no! 
Sorry, I'm quitting that job the day after. I ought to slap the sh. Mm. I feel like they were just trying to keep her safe from like from going outside. Okay, so she's back under the thing. So were they like waiting for that woman to go somewhere? Are those footprints? morning I'm sorry there's no way I'm staying there so I think they waited until the woman left the house for them to like unlock the door that was an interesting episode I'm like really curious to see the next one I'm actually very curious to see the next episode and I really kind of, I really want to keep watching this on this channel that was interesting. I feel like definitely the kids locked her in there for a reason because she did not listen to Flora the first night and went outside. Let's see, the first few um, minutes of it, Danny's past is being brought with her. Her baggage is being brought with her and I really want to know more about like why she left America um what happened at her old school um what she's running away from and what that thing that keeps chasing her in mirrors is because that's very creepy and i can't wait for an explanation of that um since this is the first episode there isn't really much i can go into depth on um i think mrs uh what's her name sorry for the noise again it's i'm really over at this point. Mrs. Grove. Mrs. Grove is an interesting character. She doesn't eat um, at all. She is always away in her head um, doing just weird things. Well, not doing weird things. She's just always like sitting in, in her head and like not really paying attention to the rest of what's going on around her, which is very interesting. Um, the only normal person there, it, I feel like along with Danny, is um, the driver. Um, well, the cook, but yeah, I hope you like this reaction. I'm really excited to keep on watching this. If you do um, like this reaction and you want to see more of um, my other episodes, me reacting to the other episodes, give this a big thumbs up and comment um, what was your favorite part of the first season, what was your favorite part of my reaction to this uh, first episode, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a week with a brand new video. See you guys next week. Have a beautiful day. <laughs>